The other trig functions, secant. All right, I want you to solve the equation secant 3t over 2 minus 1 equals 0. All right, this is going to be a little bit tricky. So what we're going to do is, again, we'll solve it like a standard trig function where we solve the algebraic part first. We get secant 3t over 2 equals positive 1. We get secant 3t equals 2. What I would then do is change this into a trig function that you know. Secant of 3t equals 2, and we know that secant of x is 1 over cosine x. To alter this into saying that cosine of 3t equals 1 over 2. Now we can solve. We say that 3t equals cosine inverse of 1 half. You can use your unit circle or your calculator, it doesn't really matter. But our solutions that we get are that 3t, and we're going to get two of them here. Let's take cosine inverse of 1 half. That's 1.0472. So that's our first one, 3t equals 1.0472. Or we get that, move this over here. We'll take pi or 2 pi minus that number. And that tells us that 3t equals. Here we go. 5.236. Or if you prefer, we'll take this out four decimal places. It gets us a 6, 0. I'm not done yet because I still have this 3 here. So this is a little different than the problems we've looked at before, but not by too much. It's just one more step. I now want to divide both sides by 3. So I get 1.0472 divided by 3. This gives me 0 0.3491 or 5.2360 divided by 3. and that gives me 1.7453. So our possible solutions are t equals 0 0.3491. Oh, hold on, I want to backtrack a little bit first. Remember both of these solutions are a plus 2 pi times n. When we divide by 3, we have to divide the entire side by 3. So our solutions are that 0 0.3491 plus 2 thirds pi times n. And 1.7453 plus 2 thirds pi times n. Thus we have t equals 0 0.3491 plus 2 thirds pi times n and t equals 1.7453 plus 2 thirds pi times n where n is an integer and all of these are in radians. That is your final answer. Alright, let's look at another example, example 7.